The On The Run 2 tour showed no sign of the power couple, Beyonce and Jay-Z, slowing down. Described as one for the history books, the Carter's latest tour performance at the London Stadium was one not to be missed. But if you were at home jealous following every OTR2 hashtag on socials, wishing you were screaming 99 problems but you not witnessing it was actually one, then don't worry, your boy ties here with what went down. Being in London, the couple also took a moment to dedicate Forever Young to those who were tragically affected by Grenfell. Jay touching his little green heart on his lapel was one of the many symbolic images, which was why this was one for the history books. Beyonce flanked by her husband and backed by a mostly female, all black band and dance troupe was how she might word it, flawless. Naturally, one of the biggest talked about moments was the surprise announcement of the couple's new LP, Everything Is Love. And while we're sure you've already been listening on repeat using another Tidal free trial, we're going to need to talk about all the secret nods to the couple's relationship that are hidden in those lyrics. We all know the past few years have been rocky. There was Lemonade, where Beyonce talked about Jay's cheating, and his 444, which served as an apology. Even now, the Carters have come to terms with things. B doesn't shy away from the past with lines like, yeah, you f***ed up the first stone, we had to get remarried. And lucky I ain't kill you when I met that B. She adds, sometimes I thought we'd never see the light. Went through hell with heaven on our side. Later, Jay denies rumors he fathered an illegitimate child rapping, Billy Jean in his prime for the thousandth time, the kid ain't mine. Ultimately, it looks like B has found her forgiveness and wants us all to too. Ariana Grande has a song on her new album called Pete. Je t'aime, le mot est en ocean. But after Ari released the track list for Sweetener, some fans felt it was too soon for a Pete interlude. With one tweeting, Pete, girl, we know you love him, but are you dumb? But her reply will confirm everything you've ever dreamed about love. Ari said, nah, and then, for real. The truth is, T emoji, I've been the f through it and life's too short to be cryptic and about something as beautiful as this love I'm in. So, Pete, it is. Yes, adopt me. Sweetener is about to go on pre-sale. Hands up if you're excited for an interlude with Pete. There's also Zane Drums, El Malikos, just dissed the self-indulgent Met Gala, despite once going with his girlfriend Gigi in 2016, but now says he only went to that one to take the piss. I did go, but I didn't go there to be like, yo, take me serious. I was taking the piss. Oh, okay. I went there as my favorite Mortal Kombat character, Jax. But despite dragging one of the celeb calendar's biggest nights all the way down its very own iconic steps, Zayn did at least backtrack as far as his back on girlfriend is concerned, saying that the only redeeming part of this year's ball was Gigi's stained glass Versace dress, which stole the night. And while everyone's trying to start drums about Selena Gomez being hurt by all that Justin Bieber and Hayley Baldwin PDAing, saying stuff like, Selena is doing her best to not pay attention to what Justin is up to, but it's impossible. It's painful for Selena to see Justin with Hayley, yawn. Selgo is actually living her best life on vacay in Italy and even snapped a cute fan pic with her Wizards of Waverly Place co-star, David Henry. Hey, Henry. Khloe Kardashian has said she will speak about everything on the new season of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. And when I say everything, I mean all of those Tristan Thompson cheating rumors too. If you have absolutely no idea what I'm on about, allow me to explain. The reality star's basketball baby daddy was caught on camera kissing a mystery woman around the time of Baby True's birth. And yes, we do actually know her name, but we don't need to get into all of that. He was also seen in another video frolicking in a nightclub with two other women, seemingly also doing the kissy kissy touchy feely thing. This all came out days before Chloe was due to give birth. Since then, it's been speculated that they are at home with Baby True playing happy families. But we actually want to know all the goss. And after a long wait, our girl Chloe says she's going to spill all, even if Tristan isn't happy about it. According to a new report by Us Weekly, the new season is one not to be missed as we find out what really happened between the star and her bae. Well, I don't know about you, but I'll be waiting for all the tea. There's plenty of drama going on inside the villa, but unfortunately, there's also some going on outside for new Love Island arrival Zara McDermott. It's been reported that since joining the show, Zara has become the victim of revenge porn at the hands of an ex-boyfriend with intimate images and videos allegedly being shared of her across WhatsApp. While it is unknown if Zara is aware of what's going on, an insider tells the Mirror that the McDermott family are shocked and disappointed that anyone would breach her trust in this way. Revenge porn is when someone shares sexually explicit images or videos videos of another person without their consent, often with the aim of causing them distress. Unfortunately, once someone has sexually explicit images or videos of you, it's hard to control how they use them. For more info, go to www.victimsupport.org.uk.